Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays of Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. It's a Samson daily. I like how Samson's arms make the face, you know, of the meme comic, you know. <laughs> F7U12, anyone else here a humor scholar? Why you no know, give me damage upgrades? Okay, I'm embarrassing myself. Um, there's nothing more embarrassing than talking about a meme that's gone out of fashion, right? It's weird. You know, January 2018, if you didn't know what uh, Do You Know The Way was talking about, you were a loser. You were a charlatan. You weren't invited to sit with the cool kids at lunch. I don't think we care about stepping on that, even with the damage bonus. Um, at least not yet. February 2018, if you said Do You Know The Way, people were like, uh, Dad? I'm just kind of trying to hang out with my friends, like... If you could just wait in the parking lot, and then I'll come out when I'm done. Okay, okay sweetheart, okay. <laughs> uh, by the way, I can has cheeseburger? No, Dad! It's an old meme! It's an old joke! It's not funny anymore. I guess, I don't know, I'm being a little bit overly cerebral when I'm talking about video games here. But I guess it's because, you know, what's why is a meme funny? Well, it's because it, it kind of signals to people that you're like, I'm hip, I'm with it, I know what's cool. And using something that you think is cool, when it's long past its expiration date. It's not that it's gotten any less funny, it's just like it's time has passed. So it's like you're trying to look cool, but you screwed it up. And there's nothing, you know, you can be uncool, passively, and that's cool. Like, I'm, I, don't, I wouldn't say I'm cool or uncool, but, you know, I, I... What did I do this weekend? Oh, I had a wonderful time. Uh, on Sunday I was sick, so I just laid on the couch and read uh, Albert Camus' The Stranger in one sitting. You know, some people are gonna be like, screw you, dude, that's cool. That is actually how I spent my Sunday, by the way, but... Well, at least like an hour of it, because the book's like 90 pages long, but... Um, you know, there's nothing uncooler than being like... Hey, check out how cool this thing is, and then it just falls flat on its face. Like, that's the most uncool thing you could ever ask for, right? I think. There were probably a few episodes, by the way, that came out without audio. I have no idea what causes that. It's just like a random OBS glitch. It is my bad. Like, a thousand percent. Because I could... I mean, I should be checking after every episode to make sure they've recorded properly. I just get a little bit, I don't want to say lazy because I think sends the wrong message, but I get a little bit passive about it because I've recorded like 10,000 videos and literally like, I don't know, less than, certainly less than a hundred have had uh, any glitch of that level. So I'm, as far as I'm concerned, like a 1% or a 99% batting average, which is not how batting averages work, but you get the idea. That's, that's allowed me to breed a little bit of, perhaps, let's say, laziness in that situation, but I apologize for it nonetheless. That's not an excuse or a justification, it's just a reasoning. Uh, give me Pageant Boy, please. Hmm, definitely not Pageant Boy. Uh, terrible. Terrible, terrible. <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Um... The, it's really the rate of fire is just so bad from that experimental treatment that it, it makes all the other bonuses that we got not worth, you know, the stats they're printed on. Uh, check this real quick. It would be awesome to get a small rock. Okay, still good. Don't get me wrong. I'm just bummed because we were one cent short of being able to get an arcade on this floor. But, hey, on dailies, you gotta, you know, you gotta choose quickly. And we chose not to go uh, to our... Or not to take advantage, at least, of our self-sacrifice room. Do I stand by that decision? I don't know. You never know what you would have gotten out of it. We would have amped up our damage penalty. But it might have been worth it, admittedly. There's no way to know. I mean, there's no way to know ever. But there's certainly no way to know until we at least finish this run. This basically sucks. There we go. Now it's not so bad. So many tinted rocks. I beg you. Just give me a nice supply of bombs. 
All I ask for here, and admittedly, it's a pretty big ask. Give me a tears upgrade either on the boss or on the deal with the devil. Uh, devil? The deal with the devil we're inevitably going to get to here. Uh, there is a bomb for sale, so I'm going to buy that. And I'm hoping against hope. Small rock, please. Two more spirit hearts, also great. Not as good as small rock. But good nonetheless. Okay, this fight might take us a little bit. It's all right, just accept it. We're really like... If we want to rank well on today's daily, and you know, that is still like, I want to make an entertaining video, I want to play well, but the tertiary concern is I, I'd like to rank well as well. Sometimes good play doesn't equal good rank. They correlate for sure, but they're not always uh, one to one. So I'd like to rank well. We've been doing okay recently. Couple of double digit ranks. Lots of triple digit ranks, no single digit ranks, but that's okay because we know uh, anytime you got an online leaderboard, I always assume like the top five or six spots are they're engaging in a little bit of nefarious uh, penetration testing, you know what I mean? Basically, I'm just trying to, I'm spinning my wheels trying to come up with like uh, something to talk about while we take 45 minutes to kill this guy. And it's not a tears upgrade, but it's a damage upgrade. And that is not a tears upgrade, but it's a damage upgrade. So content is the word I would use to describe myself right now. Happy? No. Content? Yes. And we're definitely going to go see our, uh, our item room and see what's up with that. Oh, dude. Anytime we get a big room that has no enemies, chef's kiss. So that's a secret room. We just got to accept we're not getting much uh, in the way of... Exploration bonuses. I'm amazed these champions are taking so long to kill. I'm telling you though, IV bag. To say that we win is a little bit reckless, but I mean, IV bag combined with child's heart combined with uh, bloody lust. We'd be cruising. No reason. Dead onion. Well, uh, <laughs> I think I'm happy. Uh, it is piercing shots. Uh, enemies that are far away from us are going to be a little bit of a problem, but yeah, yeah, I think it's good. I don't know, man. I feel like we have not had many dailies. Like when I was playing Isaac, I mean, I've been playing Isaac forever, but there was a period like three years ago which is kind of ridiculous to say in the first place, but not invalid. Um, there was a period three years ago or so where I was like, dude, you can get boss rush on any daily. Not just any daily, I should say, but any run. Like, if you don't get boss rush, it's because you didn't try hard enough or you didn't make the decision to get there fast enough. Maybe my playing style has evolved to be a little bit slower. Now, normally... You'd probably suggest that's a good thing. Be a little bit more methodical, etc., etc. Unfortunately, I think my performance has gotten worse. But, I mean, we are on an 11 streak right now. More if you count the, uh, the dailies we've won. Maybe, you know, it was a good exercise. Please? Good exercise to do this new save file. Maybe we're pulling ourselves out of any kind of mediocrity we previously might have had. So we got bombs now. Small rock, dude. I'm going to keep asking for it until we get it. Always happy to get spirit hearts as well. Pretty good dodges there. You know what? I'm willing to take a stab at this. Very nice. Definitely interested in speeding things up a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Definitely interested. Okay, okay, fine. Um, we basically have default damage plus Eve's Mascara. What's that like? It sucks. It sucks real bad. Um, all I'm gonna say is I wanna stay positive. I wanna stay G-rated. Thank God we got those damage upgrades earlier. If we didn't, we would look at this run and go, this is doomed. Mind you, this run is like specifically designed. I'm not gonna say it was deliberately designed, but it's, it's uniquely designed to destroy me. Of course I'm gonna take experimental treatment. Y'all know me. What, you think I sold them all? 
Uh, I only know two lyrics from Forgot About Dre. Except for all of Eminem's. Nowadays, everybody wanna talk like you got something to say. <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it. 1930s newsboy is rapping. Um, and of course I'm gonna take all the pills as well, so. Uh, basically feeling like a big old dummy right now. Hey. At least we have the damage necessary to kill flies in a single hit. Yeah, we're getting there. We, I mean, like, certainly, without a doubt, I am incredibly desirous of picking up any kind of tears upgrade. And if we don't get one on this floor, things are gonna slow way down. We do have a chance at an arcade on the next floor. That was pretty dumb. And at least we have a little bit, like the slightest bit of leverage, thanks to um, Bloody Lust. You know, we can always, sure, for now I think we want this. We can up our damage, at least, uh, this is huge. Okay, so Lemon Party, unfortunately useless, but a free deal with the Devil item, very, very, very useful. Uh, I'm gonna try to hit this guy with a bomb, too. Double bomb, please. Don't think it worked. Don't don't you do it. Don't you do it. We've had a great we've had a great fight. We're going to have to come face to face with some demons soon. Are we willing? I guess we're coming face to face with a demon right now. Yo, let's go. Okay. Now, everything has changed. All of a sudden, we're in the driver's seat. Our rate of fire being low, but our damage being high is actually a positive for us, and everything is turned around. Meanwhile, everybody watching at home is like face palming. Oh my god. Okay, our knife still is a little. Uh, it takes too long to charge. Everybody at home is face palming because they're going like, ah, this was a fun run to watch when there was strife. Well, you know what? I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted, buddy. I hope you enjoyed it while it lasted. Because now. We basically have a controllable orbital. Because our rate of fire uh, is so low, it's pretty tough for me to hit enemies that are not right next to me, as you can see for yourself. So I'm getting used to that. But dude, we now have the speed and the pace necessary to do what needs to be done. Now, am I gonna stick with... Yes, I'm gonna stick with this, uh, with, with uh, Wooden Cross. I think we're liable to take damage. I do expect an arcade, in which case we would love to have Child's Heart, but I think, uh... No thank you. Even having one protection per floor, I think it might protect a couple of Bone Hearts for us on this very floor. This is... Rarely does this happen, but like, we're actually in such a bad position uh, with the range on Mom's Knife. that I think this is warranted. Okay, I wouldn't do that again. Um, I'm gonna gamble just a little bit because a bomb is worth a lot for us early. This is a little dicey, especially when you consider we really wanna get to our uh, boss fight. Or sorry, boss rush, I should say. All right, fair enough. Uh, but it is what it is. You know, we got a nice damage boost there from being able to play the Blood Bank. Hopefully we'll get to take a little bit more advantage of that. I think, like, right now, I've gone from a little bit of discomfort on this run to a, a pretty high degree of comfort. This is, like, it's in my wheelhouse. This is the sort of run, you know, I don't want to say that, like, I'm the master of this kind of run because it's a little bit... It's not self-effacing. However... I run a lot of mom's knife runs, a lot of those mom's knife runs, and I, I run a lot of orbital runs too, is maybe the best way to describe. So I'm used to being up close and personal, inevitably, almost always leads to more damage taken, but you know, this is, I'm okay with the, with the slow dance. I don't mind, you know, not leaving space for the big man upstairs. The holy ghost. I'm okay being in the enemy's faces. I'm a, I want to be in there. I want to be ducking and diving. 
This guy's gotta go. And then you're next. Oh, that was close, okay. Um, admittedly, if we wanted to be like super gamey, we're definitely best off taking the rusted key for the rest of this floor, but I mean like, come on. It's popping. I took, against this boss to take damage is comical, but everything's still going fine. That's a tears upgrade and some real HP. And just immediately you can see, now that our rate of fire is not horrendous, everything is coming up Millhouse. I'm not going to try to get IV bag. We're still slightly behind schedule, but we're gonna pop now. So what's the, and we can start to think about this, which is awesome. How do you win this run from a rank standpoint? It's actually pretty simple. We find the closest self-sacrifice room to the end. This floor, we don't have to worry about it because we're gonna do boss rush. Boss rush is well worth taking the risk that you won't get another self-sacrifice room. Hello? Didn't know that you were still alive there. I'm a little embarrassed, to be honest. At this point, I will take the left hand for more spirit hearts. Uh, but I'm feeling like, I'm feeling great. I mean, how could you not when you have these, uh, when you have mom's knife plus good damage? That one tears upgrade, just like, it settled us in such a huge way. So the idea now behind left hand is very simple. I'm trying to basically create deals with the devil where they wouldn't otherwise exist. I mean, you get it. You don't need me to describe the left hand. It's not that I got rid of the wooden cross thinking we wouldn't get hit once per floor. I got rid of it thinking we'll probably still get hit. Uh, but... In my opinion, just worthwhile to try to maximize every other bonus we could conceivably get. So this daily, I'm comfortable. Now, I would be a little bit more comfortable if I wasn't getting hit so frequently. How did we thread the needle there? Pa 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 poker chip, I'm gonna skip it, mama mama. You know, you gotta add in a contemporary music reference into every video. Google CEO Sergey Brin, when we met at the Illuminati meeting, he said you gotta put a contemporary reference to music in every video. And I said, contemporary? How does the year 2010 sound? And he said, hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. None of the, no recent music has made it into the, the cash for me, you know? I can't pull it for immediate, you know, at runtime references to anything of that sort. I gotta rely on stuff that's been in the memory for a long time. I know that's not really a good metaphor because that's not how memory actually works on the computer basis. Might not be how memory works for human beings either, but you know, I'm just... <laughs> Mostly just spitballing here. I mean, not really trying to pretend to be a neurologist. You know, YouTube, you should recognize, you know, it's kind of like the blind leading the blind. You know, if you're looking to a video game YouTuber, I know there's all kinds of real science YouTubers. You know, the new Boston can teach you how to program while simultaneously in ingraining a lot of bad habits that'll have your future boss yell at you. But you can still learn, you know, on YouTube. Simultaneously, you gotta recognize when it comes to YouTube gaming, you know, we're... I just say, I'm not a role model, you know? You should be looking for other role models. So when I say something that maybe is, you know, intended to be a joke, and is thus scientifically inaccurate, just note that, okay? Mostly just trying to have a little bit of good humor. I don't know, sometimes it... It, it, it hasn't happened much to me. I, I think I've maintained a certain degree of... I don't want to say humbleness, but I, I've recognized my position in the YouTube sphere is to provide entertainment. I recognize that at the end of the day, it seems a little bit silly for a, you know, a 30-year-old man who plays video games in the comfort of his own home to be giving life advice and whatnot. A lot of YouTubers, for whatever reason, you know, they get a, a few thousand people that start to say, you know, oh, you're my favorite person all the time, blah, blah, blah. You know, all sorts of good stuff like that. 
and then they start to think that they're deified. It's not me. If anything, the more praise I get, the more I'm like, I don't deserve any of this. I'm garbage. <laughs> Which is also not true. It's like a philosophy of like, I, don't, I wouldn't want to be part of any club that would have me as a member, you know? I think it's a it's a bizarrely healthy attitude. You may disagree. Who? Um, we will definitely just go for another tiers upgrade, and it is not even really a good one, but that's okay. I will admit, points wise, we're a bit low, like a 1977 David Bowie album. Oh, there you are. That's where you are, you're there. Beautiful. Um, we're a bit low, we're hoping to make up for it on the back end. I actually don't know why um, we're low. I guess one reason why our score is a little bit paltry compared to where we'd like it to be. Paltry, of course, from the root uh, paltro, which means devoid of substance. Look, I'm not mad at her because she's an actress. That's fine. I'm mad at her because she's got this Goop Lifestyle brand selling all sorts of pseudoscientific junk, okay? That's not punching down. You can't punch up more than that. Plus, it was a good joke. It was a good bit of wordplay, okay? Don't get on my case. Where was I going? Oh, part of the reason our score is not so good uh, is because of the fact that uh, our... Consumable bonus is like very, very, very low. We've not been coin rich, key rich, bomb rich, big and rich, you know, the singers of Save a Horse, Ride a Cowboy. Of course, big coming from the uh, root word big, which means large, and rich coming from the root word rich, which means devoid of moral fabric. <laughs> I'm just. Now I'm just trying to rally up. Did I get you? Oh, you mad, bro? <laughs> I hate myself for that. Anyway, dude, boss rush is going so well. We're definitely a run right now that is way more well equipped to fight bosses than we are to fight um, smaller enemies, proportionally speaking. So, feeling real good about this right now. Boss rush should be. Pretty much a gimme. I do think most people will make it, provided they got Mom's Knife. Sure, Concussive Tears worth taking. 15,000 points going down to the next floor. Very, very, very important to note. We're going to explore everything because we can't fight Hush regardless. So what we're looking for, and it, it behooves us, without a doubt, to... Uh... There we go. Sorry, I need 100% of my brain power for that room. Probably not worth it, but once I missed the first knife, I thought it was sensible. Um, it behooves us to not take damage at all. And it always does, but particularly, sure. Particularly here. Because we want to find the self-sacrifice room, and we just did, obviously. So, finding a self-sacrifice room on this floor... Um, puts you in an interesting position. Do you take the self-sacrifice room? Wow. Do you take the self-sacrifice room now? Please, I'd like to shoot it at diagonal. Do you take the self-sacrifice room now? Or do you wait and hope you get one on the next floor? It's very simple. If there's one on the next floor, you would rather get it then. What on earth are you? Marbles. Enemies start combat with plus one vulnerability. Haha, <laughs> it's a spire joke. Um, well, I do like fishtail. Presumably, we're going to be headed down to the lamb fight after this, so we don't really want to uh, take the left hand with us. Anyway, I didn't really finish my train of thought about 15 times. Uh, we want to. We want to do the last floor that has the self-sacrifice room on it. I kind of dislike the fact that it essentially comes down to random chance. 
I'm going to take the one on this floor. I'll give you two reasons. One is there's no worse feeling than being like, I'm going to wait for the next floor. And then you like, don't get one. Makes you look like a fool for not taking it when you had the opportunity to do so. Well, that was also highly dumb. Um, I just don't like that room. The other thing is we have the HP right now to make it work. So my personal opinion, if you got the HP to make your deal with the devil work, take advantage of that when you have the chance to do so. So, we also could play... We're gonna lose our bone hearts is the thing. Am I okay with that? Yeah, of course. In the end, it's not a huge problem, but... Uh, we could play our blood bank, maybe get a blood bag. I don't really want IV bag at this point. I think it's uh, not necessary, perhaps even deleterious to our overall goals. I'll do this, I, I think... I don't want to ever be that guy who's like, oh, this this item that's a little fun is also a, a score down, so I don't want to take it. That being said, I was also kind of like, you know, basically exactly that guy with Bum Friend earlier. That's because Bum Friend is not a little fun. Mostly that item just annoys you as it sneaks in, takes your coins, and then you go like, well, uh, I guess I can't get an arcade on the next floor, and then your whole run gets derailed. As always, it couldn't possibly be my own fault. It's the fault of a non-playable character in the game. Question marks. Question mark? Question mark? Well, um, we're just clearing out this floor for exploration bonus. I really think I've probably taken a little bit too much damage to get a marquee rank, but I think I'm going to be up there. I think I have the chance to be at least top 150. I'm still, you know, have mercy, I'm calibrating daily scores. I've only done like a week of them so far. No thank you. So my, my uh, barometer has been a little bit off, but that's very understandable. So we should uh, definitely try to maximize bone heart usage because Bone hearts are, like, just an absurdly good value. The fact that you could not lose... I didn't mean to pick that up, but I think it still works. It does still work. Uh, the fact that you can not lose a heart container until a little bit later on by having your bone heart active here is, is quite nice. Uh, now I'm just going to throw them to the wind. Goodbye, bone hearts. You, you did way more work than I would have expected out of you. I'll always be thankful for that. Are we going to have the HP necessary to make uh, the lamb fight happen? Oh, absolutely. I don't think there's a question there. Seven spirit hearts. Like Kurosawa. I make mad films. Okay, I don't make films. But if I did, they'd have seven spirit hearts. Excuse send me, please. Thank you. Okay. So we're not taking the keys. They don't let you fight Mega Satan anyway. Because Mega Satan, as you can see for yourself, does not exist. I mean, we might as well. We have the Polaroid, right? Which one of these is the best? Uh, I will take Little Delirium. Because he is passive and relatively fun. And we love each other. And you just can't understand the depth of our newfound attraction. Rest of this run, extremely easy, by the way. Or extremely simple, at least. We're gonna do every room, and this is just a nice daily. This is like your quintessential Isaac daily. Of course, if you could build it for yourself, you'd probably say, hey, don't give me mom's knife. Instead, give me some cooler tier effects. But apart from that, like, what are you gonna complain about? We got to find the seam. Strong items. And a good opportunity to rank well. Well, still, you know, it, I, I just, if I had to pick my least favorite daily, it would definitely be uh, don't open daily inside. My second least favorite type of daily is a daily where you play well and then your rank is horrible and you realize, oh, uh, this is a run where uh, there existed like blank card, IV bag, and uh, curse dice, and all of, or even just D20. And like, all right, because I didn't opt-in for that strategy, 
I apparently suck, according to the leaderboard. And I get tweets that just say, ha ha, I beat you on today's daily. Took me 45 minutes, took them six hours, but I mean, I can't deny that they are correct. So you wanna use Krampus's head effectively here. Baby, there's a price to pay. Gotta use it on phase two. You gotta use it on a delay. Like so. You? Anytime an enemy telefrags me, I just want to say it's a cyber crime. So I think we're going to be at, you know, maybe like 33,000. For a mom's heart daily, that's pretty great. Man, this is a Krampus' head worthy room. And again, is is it my favorite daily? No, I think uh, I can't really remember yesterday's daily, but I thought I remembered saying yesterday's daily was really fun. Um, help! Oh, that was a bad place to stand. Um, so let's let's say that yesterday's is still good. You know, here's the thing: like, you might think. Let's try to become Gubby just for just for fun. You might think it's emblematic of short-term memory loss. I'm just leveling with you. First off, I take a multivitamin, so actually I'm a superhuman. I'm not sure if you knew that that's how that worked. Secondarily, um, is because I just record so many videos, they all melt together, you know? It's like a chili. You don't remember putting onions in the chili, but you put your spoon in there and you go, huh, guess I must have done it. Now, of course, this is a very bad metaphor, because if you've ever made chili, you know, most of the time it's going to have, like, two or three onions in it. Unless you've gone to the Cordon Bleu school of culinary techniques. Chopping an onion makes you cry. I understand that there's techniques. Uh, like, you can turn on a gas range or light a candle, and then chopping an onion won't make you cry. Here's the thing. Sometimes it's just nice to feel something. Sometimes I'll just chop an onion just to simulate sadness. Learn what it feels like to be alive. Also, I never... So, like, I was... Uh, I was into cooking for a while. To the point where, like... You know, in my fourth year of college, my parents got me, like, culinary knives. Because when I should have been studying, instead I was watching that Gordon Ramsay video where he makes the perfect scrambled eggs over and over and over. Now... In the end, who's the fool? I got my degree, I work in an unrelated field, and I make the perfect scrambled eggs. Except I never buy the creme fraiche, because, come on. That's just, it's a little too bougie for me. Simultaneously, no matter how much I was into cooking, I never got the fast onion dice under control. I can do it okay, I understand, it's like... You know, you chop it in half, leaving the root intact at both ends, peel it, and then you give it like a three-dimensional slice so that your final slice is like a soap cut and you just get perfect dicing. But I've seen people do it in like under 20 seconds. And for me, it's still like two minutes an onion. Anyway, 20 seconds, dude, that's amazing. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. I'm still great. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Follow me on Twitch as well. Be notified when I go live in the future. Twitch.tv slash For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. See ya!